Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a beer, it's time for some Path of Exile. Today I wanted to turn in some brand new high variance divination cards. So there was a new divination card added in the 3.13 expansion, Echoes of the Atlas, and it is named Fateful Meeting. Uh, you can see from the image here that it is presumably the Shaper clasping hands with Baran and blessing a headhunter. And the divination card grants a league specific item that is double influenced and two implicit corrupted. So this would be something that could be created via the use of Zana mods and awakener orbs and lucky scour chancing. Uh, but it's a pr going to give you pretty special items, but special doesn't necessarily mean useful. You could get something like a Beric grip that is redeemer and Redeemer influenced, uh, Crusader influenced, and has two weak corruptions on it. However, uh, this divination card is exciting and cool, so I'm going to turn in two sets of these. I've been trying to get more of them, uh, but the divination card is just not available at the moment. I've got a feeling that it's one, a very rare divination card, uh, two, it probably drops from very hard content, and three, because I don't know where it drops yet, and three, it also is probably being bought up by other people who are trying to do exactly the same thing I'm doing. Also turning a couple of other uh, variant, high variance divination cards. Peaceful Moments is great. It has a chance to give you a massive jackpot if you get the Val Timeless Jewel. Uh, if you hit anything else, you generally get your money back, but then of course you've got the hassle of buying the cards. Uh, and there's just the Voids, which are fun. So let's just get the Voids out of the way first. Uh, these can give anything that a divination card can reward, and they usually give you junk. Eh, yeah, Chaos Orb, I'll take it. Uh, Prismatic Ring, so that's the Metal Smith's Gift Divination Card Award. Uh, Scroll of Wisdom, so that was all rubbish there. I sort of expected it. Timeless Jewels can be pretty good though. Uh, Elegant Hubris with the Caspero. Uh, I can't remember what Caspero is. Uh, anyways, Elegant Hubris is not one of the better ones. Uh, Lethal Pride is middle, middling tier. Uh, this could be better, could be worse. Faithful Meeting, the big reason you're here. Uh, Victoria's Acuity with two aura effects. Shaper and Elder Influence. Uh, Vicario Security is an item I used a very long time ago. Uh, this is a cool item. So this came out at the same time as Vol's Devotion, which would be more, which would be popular for longer. Uh, but this is a massive source of charges, uh, which is always interesting. And it's got the projectile speed per frenzy charge and damage per power charge. This was super meta for a short period uh, when Val Spark was completely broken. If it had this item in the Val Spark meta, then uh, especially with uh, Zealotry, I mean, Zealotry didn't exist then, but uh, as an aura from memory, but uh, that would have been absolutely incredible in that meta. As it is, uh, this is just an interesting little toy. Uh, it's not particularly good, but it is cool. And the second one, we're going to turn in and we're going to get a Gifts from Above with Elder and uh, elder Influence and um, that's Warlord Influence. So Elder Influence means that it will work in conjunction with the Unique Staff, the Disintegrator and the Unique Gloves, Blasphemer's Gift. Shaper Influence means it works in conjunction with the Unique Chess Piece, the Eternity Shroud. And what do we have? In so Gifts from Above is not particularly popular it's actually a lot better than people give it credit for, uh, and it's exceptionally good in conjunction with the Unique Flask. Very expensive Unique Flask, uh, Bottled Faith. Uh, but we've got Flammability Skill is not particularly great to have as a corruption. Uh, lightning Damage to Spells and Attacks you take, uh, but this puts a lot of Consecrated Ground down for you. Uh, grants you increased damage when you're on Consecrated Ground, and 50% increased damage is quite a bit. Uh, especially given that that scales hard to scale things like Explodey Crusader Chess. Uh, chance to block damage while on Consecrated Ground from memory, 5% is a fixed roll, and I'm correct on that front. Uh, this is another cool little toy. So basically, uh, the point of this divination card is that you are gambling for the very low chance of hitting something meta. Uh, Headhunter obviously being the best outcome, but you could hit something uh, less valuable but still very, very, very good. Uh, and get a shaper item, which is uh, which is very hard to get in normal circumstances. Also, while on high variance divination cards, I turned in a set of my own divination card, The Price of Loyalty, recently, and got this little beast, which might encourage me to give a shot to playing Bane. Anyway, uh, that's all I've got on this video. Uh, a little bit of fun turning these in. Uh, I definitely would have uh, lost currency there. These are not particularly... These are just toys, they're not going to sell to anyone. Uh, they will be a bit of fun to play around with, but uh, you know, you can get... This Divination card allows incredible power, and the fact that you've got a slim chance of incredible power means that 
there's a um, you know that you're paying a premium for that and because I didn't uh, that didn't pay off uh, I'm going to lose currency there lastly uh, do let me know in the comments below if you have this drop somewhere I kind of suspect it might drop from the Maven's 10-way fights uh, just thematically but that is just purely speculation based upon the theme of the item uh, we're just gonna have to find that out ourselves